algorithm now in the a star algorithm we have studied how we can get the best out of the best solution as compared with the best first search now one point i want to make you <coughs> clear here so that that will help us to understand the uh, our next searching algorithm that is we are going to study is the ao star search algorithm okay now here last time we have seen in the a star searching algorithm as we are starting from this uh, initial node a and we have to reach to the which node goal node that is the j j okay here you are uh, we have the two options you can go in this direction or in this direction ai agent can prefer this direction or this direction okay and uh, you can see here even if you go in this direction also you are getting the solution correct or not yes here. sir yes but the cost of that solution is how much 14 mm. correct ai agent can mm. go also in this direction also and cost of that solution is how much 9 9 correct means both of these uh, options giving us the solution yes sir yes sir yes sir correct but we are choosing the which one out of that which is the having the less cost no less cost correct but mm -hmm. after getting here after getting here solution with the less cost are we stopping here to do the further searching no no we no. are we are going forward na yes mm -hmm. means one that is the very good property of the a star search is what even if you got the solution we are not stopping what we are doing we are proceeding further we are proceeding further and we are getting multiple solutions yes or no here we have got the two solutions then if you go forward again if you go forward again you will get the another number of solutions okay here uh, initially two then again two then again one three so we are not stopping once we getting the solution but we are carrying it we are proceeding further and we are when you when we are proceeding further each time we are comparing our solutions understood and we are lastly we are choosing the which one is the best out of that that is nothing but the property of a star search the good characteristic of the a star search algorithm all of you got the point yes sir point is what in case of the a star search algorithm even if you get the solution initially we are not stopping at that point but we are proceeding further and we are also exploring the uh, remaining solutions and we are comparing that solution and which one is getting selected which is the best out of that that Addition. solution getting selected correct keep in mind this property now next uh, uh, important one uh, in case of the inform search is the ao star search algorithm that is our today's point of discussion okay now before we st actually start with the ao star searching algorithm why it is being called the ao star etc etc first we have to discuss some uh, supporting point for that like all of you are uh, very much aware with the what is the um, concept of the problem reduction 
Okay, now AO star is also the one kind of informed search that already we are discussing based on some kind of heuristic value. So, up till now we already uh, in the uh, previous subjects also you must have studied what is the strategy of the divide and conquer. What is it? What is the strategy of divide and conquer? Yes. What is divide and conquer strategy? Hmm. Do you got the question? Yes. What do you mean by the divide and conquer strategy? Sir. Hmm. Yes. Sir, uh, uh, one problem can uh, split into these uh, sub Multiple problems. problems. And, then, um, and then each of the sub problems uh, you are solving uh, independently means we are getting uh, the multiple sub solutions. And then lastly, we are combining yes, that combine, solution combine as a whole. Solution. That is the uh, yes. point of the divide and conquer. So mm -hmm. as already we know about the divide and conquer strategy, a solution, a solution to a problem can be obtained by decomposing that problem into the smaller sub problems. Then each of these sub problems can be solved to get its sub solution. And this sub solution then recombined to get a solution as a whole and that concept is called as what the also being referred by the another name that is the problem reduction strategy. Got the point? Yes. Yes. Sir. yes sir. So divide and conquer and problem reduction is the same concept. Okay. Now what is that what what we are trying to relate here now this particular divide and conquer strategy or the problem reduction uh, problem reduction strategy we are getting we are dividing the particular main problem into number of sub problems and to that sub problems we are trying to find out the sub solution and then lastly we are combining that sub solution to form as a one whole solution okay now and or graph or this and or tree now it is used to represent that particular solutions that we are getting Okay, when you divide the problem into the multiple parts that is being considered the different sub problems. Now each of that sub problems is going to have the some kind of solutions. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So each, yes, the, sir. each of that sub solutions. Okay, each of that sub problem that is going to have the sub solutions. Okay, now and our graph is used to represent that different kind of sub solution. One important point that sh you should note down here. What and or graph is used to represent what that different kind of sub solution that we are going to get to represent that we are going to utilize what and or graph or the and or tree. This point is understood. Yes. Yes. Sir. What is the use of and or graph or the and or tree? Uses what to graphically represent that sub solutions we are sub getting problem. of different kind of sub problems yes. understood this point yes sir okay that is nothing but the use of and or graph for what purpose to represent the different kind of sub solutions of the problem understood now when this representation will happen we will see in the example now this will generate the multiple arcs Okay, and that arcs being referred as what the and or arcs. Okay, we'll see in that example. One and arc may point to the number of successor node and all of which must be solved in order to in order for an arc to uh, point to the particular solution. So basically our conclusion here is what the and or graph is used to represent various kind of complex problem solution. Okay. So AO star search algorithm is based on this and or graph. Okay, that our algorithm that we are discussing that is the AO star. It is based on what? It is based on the and or graph or based on the and or 
tree and that is the reason name given to that is what the ao star search algorithm you got the point from the graph that is the and or name is given as a ao star ao star this much is understood yes sir why it is being called the ao star because it is based on the ao and or graph understood we'll see that example exactly why what exactly this and or graph but you need to understand first why these are why this is the name is given to this search algorithm as a ao star because it is based on and or graph okay now uh, up till now we have seen the multiple examples okay uh, we are the from the initial node we are trying to reach to the goal node okay now like uh, this kind of things we have seen like this is the initial node then the its uh, sub nodes okay and uh, this this all this all for example this is the starting node and these are all its uh, sub nodes now these are nothing but the acting as a what we can say different different this this can be a, going in this direction can be a one solution or going in this direction can be a one solution or going in this direction can be a one solution that is nothing but the meaning of this particular uh, particular tree yes or no yes correct but now you can see here now this particular kind of this particular kind of graph is simply called as a or it is simply called as what which kind of graph or graph because you can ai agent can go in this direction or can go in this direction or in this direction yes or no yes that is the reason it is called as what the up till now whatever the tree we have seen these all trees are come under the which category or tree or the or graph correct Yes, so that is i have mentioned here just as in uh, or graph up till we have seen several arcs may emerge from the single node several arcs may emerge from the single node that is 1 2 3 uh, these are the number of arcs emerge from the this single node indicating now these several arcs emerging from the single node meaning of that is what it is indicating the variety of varieties of the way in which the problem may get solved correct yes or no this yes, number sir. of arcs emerging from this single node okay this this number of this one as a one arc correct this one as another arc this is the another arc now three arcs emerging from this starting node its meaning is what there are the variety of ways or there are number of ways using which the problem might get solved correct or not yes yes sir yes but that is the why that structure i am we are referring it as the or graph correct this structure can be that's so why we can refer it as a or graph okay yes but in case but in case when you know to get the solution if there is a certain kind of thing is being mentioned here like this this is called as the and you are getting i am marking here between yes. this between this arc and between this arc i am marking here one edge between these two understood what does it mean then you got what i what i have done here between this arc okay and between this arc these two arcs i have joined by one edge yes 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 then what does it mean now what what how how it uh, uh, differing it or how you can compare the initial part that i have shown you like this is the starting node this is are the three nodes individuals uh, three arcs this one this one and this one and i told you in case of the or graph in case of the or graph i told you there are the three ways here to get the solution this one this one and the this one correct but yes. here i have done modification i have i have joined these two arcs by this one edge now what change will happen what is the meaning of this uh, edge joining these two arcs now how many ways are remaining here now to get the solution 
Earth. Here, here, how many we are having? Three. Three. Here, how many? Two. 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 Correct. Because this is the one. Because this is the one, and this is second combined. Yes. Because you have combined these two arcs. Correct or not? Yes. Means yes, if you want to reach to the solution, if you prefer this direction, if you prefer this direction, okay. Only you have to. Only you have to go through the single arc. But if you choose this direction, you have to choose the both of these arc. You you cannot you cannot choose this one single handedly, or you cannot choose this one single handedly. You have to choose the compulsory both of them. Correct? Yes. And that is nothing but the chord. That is nothing but this graph then becomes what? It becomes the and or graph. Correct? Yes. Understood? Yes, sir. So when these two edge, when these two arcs will be joined by the one edge, then it becomes the and/or graph. Without this edge, it is simply the or graph. Understood? And when you are connecting these two arcs by the single this edge, it indicates if you want to reach to the solution using this direction, you have to you have to explore these both of these two arcs. Understood? And then it becomes what the And or graph. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, the, le now, where actually such kind of situation may occur. So in that kind of situation, there is a use of the and or graph. Now, for example, let's check the situation here. For example, now our main goal I have written mentioned here. Our main goal is what to acquire the TV set. Well, if you are observing it. Yes. yes what sir. is our main goal to acquire the tv set general real life example we are taking now how mm -hmm. how you can acquire the tv set tell me do you got the meaning of acquiring the tv set we can earn money and buy tv set that is the one option correct yes mm -hmm. sir this is the one option another option yes we can still still means what Sorne. Sorne. So this is the one way, correct? And yes. this is the another way. Yes. But can you use this? Can you use this single way, and you can reach to the goal? No. 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 If you choose this, you have to also choose. perform yes. these also, correct or not? Yes. Means correct. you know to reach to the goal as you are having the two option here. one is this and another is nothing but combining these two correct or not correct yes, and this sir. is nothing but the called as what the and or graph got the point yes sir yes sir this is and and this is the or or okay means as we have discussed the how the problem reduction comes here our main problem problem was what acquiring the tv set correct yes You have divided that problem into the sub problem. This one and the this one, yes. and you have got the solution like stealing the TV, earning the money. This is these are your sub solution. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Understood. Means you have to reach to the solution. You have to choose this one or you have to choose this one. Yes. Understood. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. and that is nothing but the what the concept of what and or graph yes. understood now what we have to do here if you are choosing this one what is your cost you are getting yes if you are choosing this one to reach the goal what is your cost and if you are choosing this one what is your cost okay yes and which those will give the less cost that is that will be your solution and okay to estimate that to do the estimation of that cost we are utilizing this and or graph okay we are going to search this and or graph understood yes yes sir Con concept understood and or graph means what yes, yes sir yes okay. sir now let's see the further point 
now we are simply going to compare it with uh, uh, a star now this kind of situation how the a star will handle this kind of situation okay now an algorithm to find the solution in and or graph must handle this and or area appropriately okay that will see how it happens now a star algorithm cannot search the and or graph efficiently okay as you are you have to get the solution using the and or graph it need to be search in the proper way but what is i have mentioned here a star algorithm cannot search and or graph efficiently now we are going to prove that here let's see how we can say a star algorithm cannot search the and or graph efficiently okay all of you must able to see the figure given below yes sir okay now in the figure a you can see the node a okay if it is get expanded it is producing the uh, three different nodes b c d okay understood now at each of these node the heuristic are being mentioned yes sir yes okay this is the uh, considered as the value of f our uh, f of n equal to g of n plus h of n we have seen correct yes sir so each of these node having the value of f is given here here 5 here 3 and here 4 four understood now don't consider here these two edges are joined by the uh, these two arcs are joined by this edge okay you have to just imagine here there is a no edge between this c node and the d node got the point yes sir yes, yes. now you tell me which direction according to the a star which direction ai agent will choose to go to which node which node c c node he do, he will definitely choose to go in which node c node no correct because because it is having the less value of uh, f heuristic value less heuristic value understood yes, mm. now now consider here one point now as i said now in case of the a star we will mark here a star a star giving us solution as you, he must go to the this particular c node okay but mm. when there is a age okay when there is a age you have to choose this one also and this one also correct or not yes sir yes so sir. a star is choosing only this one according to the property of a star yes sir that's why its value coming is how much 3 3 but yes, the appropriate way of searching the and or graph is different correct or not yes sir appropriate way is what if you are choosing this c node you must at the same time you must choose the d node also correct or not yes sir yes sir and let's see then what will happen if you apply uh, appropriately uh, and or graph property here okay if you apply the and or graph property here our solution will be different yes or no let's see how now here i have written here nine here i have written 9 how this 9 comes a uh, addition of c and d the heuristic 3 plus 4 then it is the 7 mm okay seven one important property i am telling you regarding the and or graph you have to take you have to take unit cost unit cost as the cost of reaching from node a to its successor like this what is meaning of unit cost you have to take by default the cost 1 okay that is the meaning of unit cost what you have to take the by default cost 1 to reach from this node a to the node b or from a to the node c or from a to the node d and that is the reason here you can see for the a the cost coming is 9 that is the 3 plus 4 plus 2 yes or no म्हणजे एजेस ला एक एक व्हॅल्यू राहील एक एक व्हॅल्यू बाय डिफॉल्ट सो दॅट्स व्हाई इट विल बिकम लाइक दिस 3 प्लस 1 करेक्ट c टू a यस एंड आल्सो व्हेन यू चूजिंग द c आल्सो यू हैव टू चूज द d आल्सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द एंड और ग्राफ प्रॉपर्टी यस सर सो इट विल बिकम 3 प्लस 1 प्लस 
फोर प्लस वन करेक्ट हाउ मच इट इज कमिंग नाउ एंड इज एंड वी हैव एक्सप्लोर नाउ आर इज रिमेनिंग आर वैल्यू विल बी फाइव प्लस सिक्स मीन्स विच वे ए आई एजेंट विल शुड गो मीन्स इन दिस डायरेक्शन बट ए स्टार इज सेंग वॉट इट इट शुड गो इन दिस डायरेक्शन Hmm. That hmm. is the thing we have proved here. A star algorithm cannot search and or graph efficiently. Right. Correct. Yes. Right, sir. And same thing we have proved here. Okay. And that is the reason when there is a certain kind of problems where you have to make the choice out of the multiple solutions. In that case, the and or graph or and or search algorithm being. utilize okay now same thing i have mentioned here uh okay the point that we have proved that there same thing i have mentioned here okay so what what it is proving that the choice of the next net to be get expand just not depend only on the value but it depends on whether that node is the part of the current base path from the initial node understood previously mm. we have just seen what we have just we have just here when you are when we are uh, uh, applying the a star here we are just uh, thinking about three here the value mm. of c node is less that's why we uh, a star will choose this c node but what act what actually what? actually this uh, uh, property of the our uh, ao star is giving us that only you should not think about the value of node but you should think about whether that node is the part of the current base path from the initial node or not understood let's make it more clear here in the given figure below now if i ask here okay in this diagram if i ask here uh, applying the a star what will be your answer in which direction the ai agent should go just by applying the a star not the ao star nine c a c g ha ah, right it will be initially by observing this you will definitely can say a c g g correct because yes, g is having the less cost here yes and g also have less cost okay so yes. but see but g but g is not on the current based path why it is so because if you apply the property of uh, and or graph here you know to utilize the g according to the and or graph you have to utilize the h also Hmm. Yes. yes correct because and if you are utilizing the c you need to utilize this also because this is being yes. joined yes. and definitely yes. its cost yes. will be more yes yes understood and that is the meaning of this statement i have made here the choice of the next node to be expand depend not only on the value of that node but it also depends on whether that node is the part of the current based path from the initial node no doubt g is having the less cost but g is not on the current based path according to our property of and or graph yes or no yes understood so that is the point where here that we have first now uh, compared uh, how the a star cannot search the and or graph efficiently okay and that is the reason uh, to solve the particular problem and the solution which we are representing using the and or graph to to get the solution out of that we cannot use the a star but we have to utilize their what the ao star algorithm okay now let's see how we are going to do uh, do that uh, how we are going to apply the ao star search algorithm to solve certain problem okay now you know to solve the uh, problem using the ao star the three important steps we must have to follow okay you just keep in mind these things we are going to apply to uh, solve the problem okay first thing is what 
traverse the graph starting at the initial load following the current based path and accumulate and gather set of node that are on the path that not yet been expanded simply expanded. means what you have to just start from the initial node and uh, you have to see which one is the best path okay to reach to the solution and that path you have to uh, go on expanding that is the meaning of first statement then you have to choose the best unexpanded node and expand it add its successor to the graph and compute the value of f for the each of them okay we will apply this then you will get the clear idea and last important uh, point uh, that is should follow here change the f estimate of newly expanded node to reflect the new information and for that purpose you need to propagate backward through the graph okay now you will not understand here what ex exactly it means till we get the you will see the solution okay so what it is saying once you find the value of f of uh, certain nodes of that and or graph again you have to move backward what you have to do move backward through that graph okay and you have to check the value initially we have got they are getting change if they are getting change then according to that change value we have to select which is the best path to get the solution that's why i have mentioned here the propagation of revised cost estimation backward is in the tree is not necessary in case of the a star algorithm a star algorithm algorithm madhe apan value backward propagate karto ka nahi nahi but that has to be done in case of the ao star that will see how it is being done and this is because in ao star algorithm uh, this is because in the ao star algorithm expanded we need to do the re examination that is the one important point here in case of the ao star we need to do what we need to do the re examination that re examination is done by how by backwarding the by propagating the value backward side understood using that the re examination get done and from that re examination the current best path get selected okay let's apply this in the uh, example this is the example we have to solve now now first you tell me how many solutions available here how many solutions are available okay this is the this is the decompo decomposition or reduction of one particular problem according to the and or graph yes or no yes yes sir and its solutions are being also get decomposed correct yes now what is my question then how many solutions you are observing here two solutions only two solutions correct yes one is the this and another is the this yes sir right now our our pro, our uh, point of discussion here is what out of these two solution we have to choose the best yes yes correct that is we are doing and for that purpose only a star a a o star search algorithm is being get utilized correct or not right yes. that is we are discussing a o star uh, a o uh, star search algorithm using the and or graph it is used to uh, represent the solution of the problem and then it help us to decide which solution is the best solution correct as here we have we have decomposed the solution in the in the two different sub trees correct or not this is the one correct yes sir and this is the yes, another sir. yes understood now here we have to make the decision or ai agent has to make the decision which one is true by applying the ao star search algorithm okay what initially i said you have to start from this node correct correct or not yes sir yes sir yes sir correct then what what is next has to be done after that let's uh, see the uh, statement what we have discuss first point traverse the path starting at the initial node okay and following the best path accumulate the set of nodes 
so we'll do the traversing okay so you can traverse in this direction and or you can drive uh, traverse in this direction correct or not yes okay now let's see if you traverse in this direction what is the value of f we are getting okay and if you traverse in this direction what is the value of f we are getting initially now tell me if you traverse in this direction up to this point tell me the value of f so q parenthesis 6 ah ani ikade r pasun jar gela ikade traverse jala tar to 12 hoil ani jar ikade s pasun gela tar to 9 hoil so you you tell me the what will be the cost of going in this direction and what will be the cost going in this direction combinedly you tell me in this direction how much it will be 8 plus 1 Nine. It will be nine. nine. Yes, sir. In this direction, you tell me. Six. Eighteen. Six only. Eighteen. Eighteen. Who said eighteen? Yes. Eighteen. Na. If you want to go in this direction, you cannot choose simply the Q. You have to choose the R also. Okay, both addition yes. are required. That is the Andor graph property says, na. Okay. So it is the five plus one. Plus eleven plus one that will be eighteen. Eighteen. Here and now you tell me now which direction AI agent should go now? Nine. Yes. In this direction, correct? Yes. And that is the same thing we have mentioned in the uh, statement also that we have written. After that, we, what we have to see now? After that, we have to see the successor of this S means you have to explore the S. Okay, so successor of S are the W and X. X. Okay, now here at this point also we have to calculate what will be the value value at this S. What will the value of S? So you know to get the value of S, what you can do? One plus eight. One plus three plus. One plus three. One that will plus be eight. Three. Means eight is mm. getting correct. Yes, sir. Understood. Yes. Now we are reached to this last point. Terminal nodes. These are called as the terminal nodes. Mm. Okay. What our algorithm says: start from the initial node, then calculate the value of f at this node, and going which direction where you are getting the less value. So here we are getting the less value in this direction. That's why we choose go in this direction. next algorithm suggesting us when you go to the next node also explore that node we are explore the s to the w and x correct mm -hmm. and that point also you need to estimate the value of s even it is being given again you have to estimate that that we have estimated here that is also coming same as a 8 yes understood now we are reached to the terminal node correct now when you yes. reach to the terminal node AO star search algorithm says we need to do the back propagation of the values. What? Back traversing. Back traverse means you need to do the back tracking here. Yes, sir. And that main aim of doing the back tracking here is nothing but doing the re-examination. Okay. Correct. What is that? Got the point. The yes. point. Lastly, I told you. AO star suggest what? Okay, all of you get join again. Yes. Sir. Okay, going in this direction, we have calculated the estimated value of uh, P year eighteen, and going in direction, we have calculated it as a nine. Correct. Okay. Yes, sir. Then, as I said, when you reach to the next node, this is our next node. You have to estimate its value also. That we have got it. Correct. Yes. And now we have reached to the terminal node. What yes, the AO star search algorithm says to get the best path. 
you need to do the re-examination. Yes. And how we are going to do the re-examination? By back propagating the values. Backtracking. Okay. Backtracking. So when you back propagate the values, again we have to do the estimation of value of this node. That will be same three plus one. One plus, plus three plus one, correct? Eight. Eighteen yes, means new value that we are getting after re-examination is eight. Yes. Now this you have to discard and new value you have to update. Correct? Okay. Even it is changing or not changing. Again, you have to backtrack from this point also. Hmm. So that will be eight plus. plus that will be one. eight plus one. That will be nine. nine. So this mm. initially we have evaluated that will get discarded and newly get updated. That is the nine. Yes, sir. understood. And then that is nothing but the best solution we have got here. Understood. Because once you compare this nine with eighteen, definitely nine is better. Understood. Yes, sir. And that's why. We should go in this direction. Which direction? In this direction only. Instead of going in this direction. Understood. Now, what difference here? I want to tell you. AO star algorithm. Once it find a single solution, okay. Once it find the single solution, it does not explore all the solution. You are getting. Hmm. Initially. according to the initial suggestion we go in this direction and we have got the solution correct yes but what is about this part mm. in a star are we doing like this no in a star even if you got the single solution initially we are go on searching correct or not yes sir but in case of the ao star it is not recommended to do that and that is nothing but the one of the drawback of ao star search algorithm because as you have got the nine value by going in this direction and then you are stopping at that point okay but now here our solution is what we have to reach this point okay all of you understood word point where we have to reach this point our main goal see the what i have shown you initially the uh, in case of in case of the ao star slightly different is what this is our goal and this is our sub goals correct yes means by choosing out of this one any sub goal you have to reach to the goal correct Yes. Yeah. It is not yes, like that. Sir. This is our initial node, and the uh, these are the some nodes are given, mm -hmm. and that you have to reach uh, uh, any of these. Okay, it is it is slightly different from that. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Here, yes, by sir. referring this given sub solution, you have to reach to the main solution or to the main goal. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. And here, here as we have discussed, here we are getting the value nine, and here we are getting the eighteen. And even if you back propagate, also we are getting the value nine only, correct? Mm. And what the AO star recommending does not, you should not explore the solution once you get the single solution, correct? Hmm. And we are calling it as one of the drawback of the AO star. Okay. Yes, sir. We have to prove that whether it is the drawback or not, correct? Mm. and you have to prove that we will go on searching in the direction also yes sir yes, you have to just prove that it is the drawback of the ao star you are getting yes sir now <clears throat> if you go in this direction okay here okay as uh, up to reach up to you know to reach up to this point we have got the value as 18 okay now next mm. this node and this node also ex need to explore correct hmm Okay. If you explore this node also, it will like one plus four five. Okay. Yes, five. And if you explore this, it is the eight. Yes. 
okay now we have reached to the this node hmm. you have to explore this t also right plus 1 now if you explore this t what is the value of t will be get change or not change unless sir back tracking upon the back tracking kela nantar ka will this will be 1 plus 1 and this will be get updated that is the 2 correct yes yes now once you get you need to back track this values correct or not hmm now even if you back track it is correct okay it is 8 understood hmm but if you back track this how much the value of q 3 3 it will be 2 plus 1 3 3 means this will be get discard and it will become how much 3 3 again you need to back track 4 3 so plus 1 so what will be the value of p will become now 4. 3 plus 1 okay and again plus. now here r we forget to explore the r r get explore mm. now what will be the this 11 will get changed to what 2 2 2 now 3 plus 1 this 3 plus 1 and 2 plus 1 1 total 7 3 total will be 7 7 7 so this 18 will be get discard yes sir yes. and will be get update to what 7 7 hmm. and that hmm. is the here we have proved that the property of ao star search algorithm saying what once you get once you get the solution does not explore all the solution yes or no yes sir yes. because even if you just stop after getting this solution of 9 there are the chances here that we have proved we may get the less value than the 9 that is the 7 hmm and in that case ao star is not giving us the optimal solution yes or no yes sir which one is the better solution out of this 9 or the 7 7 seven. 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 but ao star has given us the solution correct yes but that solution yes. is 9 yes sir. is it the best no no best is 7 seven. 7 seven. and that becomes the disadvantage of the a star ao star here we have mentioned it is complete complete or not yes yes even if you even if you, even if it is giving you the at least one solution it is complete that's why we have said advantage it is complete is it taking us to the infinite loop yes yes No. It will not go. No, sir. Infinite no. loop. Less memory is requiring. Yes. But yes. disadvantage is what? Is it optimal? No. 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 We have proved it. It is not optimal. Yes or no? Mm. Yes. Yes. Why it is not optimal? Because it does not explore all the paths. Once it find a solution. I hope all of you have now got the clear idea. Yes sir. yes sir and that is nothing but the ao star search algorithm as compared with the a star yes sir search algorithm okay now okay, different depends on the situation the a star and the ao star can be get utilized when you have to choose when you have to choose out of many given solution one solution you have to choose then the ao star search algorithm you can see it is a how it works as compared with the a star algorithm but we cannot apply the a star to solve the certain kind of problem where and or graph has to be get search yes or no yes if you are to find out the solution where the and or graph has to search their a star algorithm cannot work properly there which algorithm we have to utilize ao star search correct and how the ao star search does the searching that we have discussed okay its advantage disadvantage etc etc understood all of you yes sir 
yes sir okay you one one second you should go through the video and ask me the any doubt if you have okay okay sir okay that's it from the today's lecture thank you all of you thank you sir thank you sir